Hello everyone, welcome for the second Airborne Update uh, dev blog. So today I'm going to introduce you to the very new asset unveiled for this Airborne Update. Since uh, Invasion 44 allowed us to port them out to Arma 3, we can therefore introduce new vehicles from Invasion 44. This started with US tanks and Greyhound uh, last week and Airborne Update will introduce new vehicles among them is the Waco Glider which you can see here some Rex model so those models will allow mission designers to create simple compositions to customize the maps or make maps or make a landing zone or any objective with like retrieving documents retrieving a vehicle or whatever as map assets you will also have access to dead cause which is very normal like and will allow map designers again and mission makers to improve the overall feeling of war in Normandy or in countryside at least. So the Waco Glider was a troop carrier allowing 12 soldiers to get in. For now it's not terrible but we really hope to be able to make the script for Urban Updates release. So the flight model is is done. You have no engine, no air brakes. You only, you can only brake with the flaps, and with uh, managing your speed and descent speed. So if you have a too high descent speed, you will crash and probably die. Even if the glider allows allows player to land very grossly. So you'll see I'm at 190 km, km per hour. And here I'm landed. <laughs> so the model, here I have a friend inside who is very talkative. <laughs> you can open the cargo bay, you can open the doors. So you see there are some physics issues but the overall thing isn't finished yet. Still a work in progress. And that's it. So the you know the, the goal on this specific asset is to make it towable and globally it's already in working condition. For those wondering about the author, it's still work in progress and the I-44 tanks update uh, drain dust a lot of time so we still hope to be able to include the Orsa, Orsa glider alongside the, the Waco for a better experience. Of course the Orsa will come with the Royal Air Force camo as well as the C-47 so those assets will be usable with Faces of War uh, UK paratroopers which should be available soon, as far as I know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little preview. Uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you enjoyed, and see you, see you next time for the third dev vlog of Iron Front Armor 3 Airborne Update. Bye bye.